Week 2 of Strictly Come Dancing has seen some wow moments from this year's lineup as well as a few mistakes, a wardrobe malfunction and a teary eye or two. Former X Factor star Fleuriste performed a Viennese waltz this evening with her partner Vito Coppola, a very different routine in comparison to last week's cha-cha. Presenter Tess Daly, as always, went to the judges for comment but ended up saying sorry to Craig Revel Horwood. Fleur and Vito twirled around the dance floor to the beautiful glimpse of us by Joji. She was left with a tear in her eye following the performance before receiving her comments from the judges. While their opinions were mixed, there was an overall positive reaction towards her performance, leaving Fleur relieved. The couple was ready to be ushered by Tess to go and see co-presenter Claudia Winkleman when she stopped herself mid-sentence. Lord Sugar's Jai bet Strictly's Tony Adams amid harsh criticism having heard from Matsi Mabuse, head judge Shirley Ballas and Anton Dubeka, Tess turned towards Florent Vito. She told the couple, all very constructive advice from the judges and it's only, oh, Craig, excuse me my darling. How could I ever forget you? In the typical Craig manner, the nasty judge of the panel looked seriously at the presenter. He joked, I don't mind if you miss me out darling, it might appeal to everybody. Craig's comments were worth the wait though as he seemed to be very impressed by Fleur's performance this evening. He told the singer and radio presenter, I honestly really enjoyed that darling. I would have liked to have seen a little more Viennese content but I don't have an issue at all with mixing the Viennese up as long as there is a bit more content in there. But what a gorgeous dancer you are, absolutely watchable. Truth Langsford details fears over split husband Damon Holmes, explainer Strictly's Tess issues apology after snubbing Craig Revel Horwood. Cast Fleuriste breaks down after criticism from Strictly Shirley, video, before Tess mishap, she described the performance as just dreamy and Matsi Mobuse was delighted to see great improvement from Fleur. Shirley was the tough judge this time around though, stating that for her, it didn't feel like it flowed as it should have done. Nevertheless, Fleur and Vito scored a respectable 28 so they're far from the bottom of the leaderboard this week. Prior to tonight's show, there were already some predictions on who would be the first to leave the competition. Fans are already putting their bets on for who they think is going to be the first to leave the competition this year. Bookmakers William Hill believes former footballer Tony Adams is the favorite to make his exit with five-fourths odds. He was the lowest scoring contestant from week one with just 15 points but that could all change with this new lot of performances. Tony is once again near the bottom of the leaderboard so could this mean that he is going to be voted out? Strictly Come Dancing continues every Saturday on BBC One.